Maybe. Come here, let's brush our teeth real quick. Get him. We gotta brush our teeth. Come here. Oh my goodness. You're so Scrolling. handsome. Ready? Alright, scoot back. Let's brush. Ready? Oh my. Okay. Alright, scoot back. Let's brush our teeth. Ready? Okay, one more time. Third time's a charm. Okay. Okay, we're done with that. Let's brush our teeth. Ready? Ready? Okay, we got it out. We got it all out of our system. Nope, we're out. We're done. We're done. We're done. Brushing our teeth, having so much fun. We never let the water run. Nope. We never let the water run. Do 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 do. Go hat. Go put our shoes on and go play baseball. Today is a very exciting day because it is Cadell's last baseball game of the season. It was his first baseball season, first Boss. time ever trying baseball. baseball. Three months. You want to do football next? Boss. Boss. We did soccer and then we did baseball. Soccer. Maybe we'll do football next or basketball. Baseball. Soccer. Soccer was fun. We liked soccer. Baseball. So it's been a three month long baseball, baseball season, which is baseball, great because Kato got a lot of practice and we've just made so much progress. I'm so Ow. proud of him. Um, we do have a few minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and get a few practice hits in before his last grand finale of a baseball game. Baseball Saturdays have been awesome. It's been super fun for me too as a mom, you know, having that experience of Saturday morning baseball games you know it's it was my first time getting to experience that and I just loved it I loved you know living living through Kidale and the excitement of you know his first game and his first hit and all that stuff so um, so we're gonna go get a few practice hits in before his big game but I want to take you guys back in time and kind of show you how we were able to progressed through this season and how we were able to learn to yeah. love baseball. Try ten times, okay? This. Separate your legs. Okay, so it took a little while for the interest to develop. At first, Cadell didn't have time for me or this silly new game that I was trying to get him to play. And it kind of seemed like, you know, he'd rather be inside watching his tablet, which I get. But my thing is that I want to expose him to a wide variety of experiences and interests because you just never know what he's going to take to or what he's going to enjoy and appreciate. And there's always the initial learning curve where at first it's hard and challenging. And then once you start picking up on it is when it becomes fun. So basically at his baseball games, there is a buddy for every player and these buddies are volunteers and it's a really great way for Cadell to kind of go out, you know, independent from me, but also have some assistance out there to kind of show him the rules and the concepts of how to play baseball. And I thought that this was absolutely fantastic because like I said, it kind of allows him the opportunity to socialize and interact with other people and also learn from other mentors. You did so good, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so about halfway through the season, it seemed like he still wasn't really finding his groove. And my goal was that I wanted to help him kind of find his interest or find, you know, an area that he could excel at so that it would be fun for him and it would be something that he gets excited about and he likes doing. I thought it was going to be catch because we could do counting down, which Kiddo loves to count down. So I thought, okay, well maybe he'll learn to play catch and we can count down from 10 to one. Honestly, he didn't have any interest in that. So then I thought, all right, well, let's focus on hitting. And that's exactly what we did, and we found so much success with that. Hi. 
Essen. All right, so it got me thinking, what exactly is it that is holding him back and keeping him from being successful? We all know he's very physically fit. He's very athletic and coordinated. And when I sat down and I really thought about it and thought about it from his perspective, the answer was pretty clear. Kiddell understands language. He understands when you give him instructions. Um, but he does struggle with processing language. So when you give him clear, simple directions, he can pretty much follow through more often than not. When you put him in a situation to where there's lots of distractions and you're giving him multiple instructions and directions at once, he can tend to not necessarily be successful in those situations. Um, he does struggle with focusing and paying attention He's very hyperactive. He likes to constantly be moving and pacing and not necessarily holding still. So I figured I would buy these little circle markers on Amazon and use them as markers for his feet. So he knows where to plant his feet. So that's one less direction that he's having to receive. And it also gives him a visual. So he doesn't have to process all the verbal directions that are being given to him. He can just look down and visually see, okay, this is where my feet go. Now I can just focus on hitting the ball. And then I would also give him a countdown so that he knows kind of exactly when to swing. And that's one less thing for him to have to process. So I would count down, you know, three, two, one swing. And it was just really simple, clear instructions for him to follow. And once we kind of apply this method and practiced a bunch he really started to get the hang of it to where he didn't really have to think about it too much, if that makes sense. You know, I could tell it was becoming natural for him. So that's what we did, and it was awesome. We found so much success with this method. Swing! All right, ready? All right, ready? Look at the ball. One, two, three, swing! So close! Okay, ready? One, two, three, swing! Good job. Okay, so after we developed this routine and we practiced pretty consistently at home, I actually asked the coach if I could pitch for him because I knew that we kind of were yinging and yinging, so to say. And I knew that if I went out there and I just kind of walked him through it and reinforced everything that we practiced at home, I knew that he could then be successful without me. He would have the confidence and the understanding of knowing I can do this. And it was such an honor and a privilege to be able to pitch for Kidel and to be able to say that he got his first successful hit off a pitcher and that pitcher happened to be mommy. But I am okay with that. I am okay with the fact that he scored on me and I am so unbelievably proud of him and again, just all of the progress that he made this season. All right, so fast forward to present day, we're at his last game and Kiddo got the ultimate surprise and that surprise was that Big Guy got to be his buddy for the day. It made for a perfect ending to a perfect first season of baseball and I'm just so proud of him.
after dinner. That's so cool. What's in here? Yeah. You got, got a little stand. Baseball. And all this oh oh my gosh, and a trophy. Mm. And the big guy signed it. Wow. You did so good. Mm. Give me a kiss. I'm so proud of you, Kdale. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you got two huge hits. You played really good in the outfield and you got a trophy. Okay, I think that the best word to describe Kiddo's first baseball season is honestly incredible. Um, we just had such an incredible experience. You know, it was a long season and I'm honestly just so proud of all the progress he made. His coaches were amazing and it was really special for his last game to be able to have Big Guy as his buddy. They uh, they were short buddies today, so Hello. Big Guy volunteered and it honestly worked out perfectly because Hello. knowing Big Guy, he, you know, absolutely was thrilled to be able to do it and Kiddo got a lot of good time in the outfield. He got two big hits all by yourself. Hello. And I'm so proud of you. So proud of you. I highly recommend Field of Dreams for anybody looking for a special need, um, special needs baseball team because as far as I'm aware, it's not just a Florida thing. They ought, they have um, they have Field of Dreams in other states, and it's just a really good organization. They're really focused on you know helping the players and it's like players first and whatever their ability level is you know they are really just concerned with the player having a good experience and we did i mean we had a great experience so i'm really glad that we did this it's been fun spending our saturdays out here for the last three months and i'm kind of sad that it's over but we'll what see. We'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do next. Um, maybe basketball or something. I don't know. But we'll, we'll see you guys next vlog. Thanks for watching. When she hits it, go run and get it. Run, run, get it, get it, get it. Oh. <laughs> One last cool thing we learned this baseball season, and we will leave you with this little tip, is that if you go into a Dailies gas station with your game day uniform on, you get a free Icy. So, I mean, what else really is better than that? Win-win for Kiddo, he could not be happier.